Game number two of the National League Championship Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves after a 4-1 victory in game number one. The Reds return here at Great American Ballpark for game number two before the series heads on over to Truist Park in Atlanta, Georgia. Again, Cincinnati will look to go down south up two games to nothing against this Atlanta Braves team, the same team that they met in the NLDS last year, of course, on the Reds' path back to the World Series last season. Obviously, that reign was ended by the Los Angeles Angels in the World Series. But again, game one, one four, one Cincinnati, looking for more of the same here in game number two as the former. Cy Young heads to the mound for Cincinnati. That man is Hunter Green. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on the channel. Hurston Waldrop will get the start tonight for Atlanta, one of their former highly touted prospects, obviously now just a part of the rotation for Atlanta, going up against, again, the former Cy Young winner in Hunter Green. The lineup remains basically the same for Cincinnati. You got Ellie De La Cruz, who's been smacking the label off the baseball like he did last night in game number one. Will Benson leads the team in average, and we will see how that carries here in game number two. Hunter Green went seven innings in game two of the NLDS, did not allow a run. Let's see what he does tonight here against the Braves as Ha Seung Kim going to ground out to Matt Olson to kick us off. Now, for the Braves, it will be the two spot. Kyle Tucker, the former Red, of course, was dealt in that trade with the man. He just hit the baseball to Matt Olson. Two down for Ronald Acuna Jr. on the 2 2. Acuna on the ground, right to Matt McClain. It's a 1 2 3 top of the first for Green. As we go to the bottom of the first, here's Hurston Waldrop. He pitched one game in the NLDS against the Dodgers, went five and a third, gave up a couple with that ERA of 6.75. He will, though, get TJ Friel to strike out to kick us off, bringing up Ellie De La Cruz on the 2 1 pitch. Ellie going to get blown by on the fastball as he is late on it or just kind of misses it. It's going to be caught by the second baseman in Brendan Rodgers. Two gone at four breaks. Harper, who is struggling mightily here in this postseason, but Harper blasts one straight to Dylan Cruz. As we go to the top of the second, Austin Riley will kick things off by putting it on the ground right to Matt Olson. The Braves have not been able to keep the ball off the ground so far here in game two. Dominic Fletcher won't even touch it. Swing and a miss on a slider. Jared Kellenick on the one-two pitch, hits it in the air, but straight two will Benson to the bottom half of the second. Here comes Jordan Alvarez. On the full count, he will walk. Waldrop misses on that fastball, bringing up Matt Olson, the former Brave, on the three-two. It's just late on the fastball, very similar to the Ellie De La Cruz. At bat, Olsen will get popped out over to Kim. Here is Will Benson on the one, two. He's gonna lift that ball in the right field. It's gonna get down. Will they try to send Alvarez to third? No, first and second, one gone for Spencer Steer on the one, one pitch. Steer gets jammed on a fastball. It's not gonna be deep enough to get down, obviously, but it will be deep enough to tag your Don Alvarez from second to third. Actually, we're gonna think better of that decision. He would have made it with the throw off line, but it's okay. Two gone, runner in scoring position for Francisco Alvarez. The catcher hits one over the middle. That's going to get through. And the Reds are up 1-0 thanks to Francisco Alvarez's RBI single. Now Matt McClain, though, will roll over and hit one on the ground to Ha Sung Kim. But the Reds have taken the lead 1-0. Here comes Sean Murphy to lead off the top of the third. He will get under that fastball. TJ Friedel will run over and make the grab. One down for the second baseman, Brenton Rogers. Green deals in a 2-1 pitch. And Rogers will get popped out to the former Gold Glove award-winning catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Two down at Dylan Cruz in the one-two pitch. The former second overall pick will strike out on a slider. We move to the bottom of the third at TJ Friedel leading things off for Cincinnati. The Reds, of course, have a lead, but looking for more on the other side of things, though. Atlanta still yet to pick up a hit in this game. Ellie De La Cruz will strike out on the Waldrop slider, bringing up Bryce Harper on the 3-2. Harper, though, going to make weak contact on the fastball. And Bryce has got to get it figured out eventually, you would think, right? Again, came into today batting 133, the only member of this Reds lineup to not be batting at least 200. And Bryce again is 0 for 2 tonight, batting 133 coming into things. Very rare, because the last two postseasons we've played, of course, with Harper, and even dating back to his days in both Philadelphia and in the nation's capital, Harper has been the guy in the playoffs. 
This year, though, a rarity. Harper really not playing too hot, batting third. As Ronald Acuna Jr. will have the first hit of the night for Atlanta, but Hunter Green bounces back and strikes out Austin Riley. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Jordan Alvarez up first. He will get popped out. And again, Alvarez, whether or not we play another season here at the Reds franchise, Alvarez, he's not coming back next season. It's just we can't afford the guy again. This is a one-year, half-a-year rental type deal just because, again, we were trying to make that push and really get away from both the Brewers and the Cardinals in the NL Central race at the time. But of course, Alvarez did help us to make that push to where we're at right now. As the Reds go down in order in the bottom of the fourth, Dominic Fletcher leads things off for Atlanta in the top of the fifth. And Fletcher with that infield single of the second hit of the night for Atlanta, bringing up Jared Kelenic. But Kellenick strikes out on a Hunter Green slider, bringing up Sean Murphy on the one-two pitch. Murphy on the ground, Matt Olson the second to Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie back to Olson. Easy double play turn for the Reds. Their starting pitching has been phenomenal in this playoffs. And look at the bats start to heat up as well. Spencer Steer plugs the gap. He will be on with a leadoff double. Steer is standing on second base for Francisco Alvarez, who has an RBI tonight, the only one of the night so far but he will strike out. Matt McClain comes up and he will strike out just like Alvarez did. Two down, runner in scoring position still for TJ Friedel, and he will roll over to the second baseman in Brendan Rodgers. This game is still 1-0 on to the top of the sixth. Brendan Rodgers leads things off here for Cincinnati, and he will ground out to Spencer Steer. One out for the nine spot, Dylan Cruz. On the 1-1 pitch, Cruz will get inside on that fastball, but of course it's going to go nowhere. There's Friedel. Two down for the top of the order, Ha-Sung Kim on the 2-2 pitch. Kim on the ground, a lot of action going Matt Olson's way tonight. And again, Hunter Green is through six shutout innings. And welcome in our old pal, Andrew Abbott. Now a bullpen arm for Atlanta. He will come into the game and immediately give up a hit to Ellie De La Cruz. So welcome back to Cincinnati, Abbott. But Ellie's on with a single, bringing up Bryce Harper on the 1-1 pitch. Ellie is running and he is safe. Of course, you're not going to get that 99 speed. Ellie in scoring position for Harper on the 2-2 pitch. Harper going to hit that fastball pretty deep into center field, but of course it's not going to have the carry. It will be way deep enough, though, to tag De La Cruz from second to third. Again, the Reds looking for some insurance here in the bottom of the sixth. Ellie will be standing 90 feet away. Four yards on Alvarez on the 3-2. That's a moon shot for your Don Alvarez. We were looking for one more. We're going to get two. Jordan Alvarez goes 419 feet in the center field, his third of the playoffs, and that's why we got him at the deadline. Jordan Alvarez makes the lead 3-0 for the Reds. That two-run shot over the former Red, Andrew Abbott, again, gives the Reds that 3-0 lead. Matt Olson flings the bat out there, but it's going to get down into shallow left. Olsen continues the hits. He'll be on with a one-out single. Will Benson, though, lefty-lefty, will strike out, bringing in Spencer Steer on the 1-1. Steer gets jammed inside on a fastball, but the Reds extend their lead to 3 to nothing as we go to the top of the seventh. Hunter Green still pitching for Cincinnati, and Kyle Tucker has had no impact so far on this series. It kind of reminds me of the impact he had with us in the postseason a couple seasons ago and last year as well. Again, minimal at best. Hunter Green strikes out Ronald Acuna, and Ellie De La Cruz cannot get to that Austin Riley liner. That one's going to get over the head of Ellie, and Austin Riley's on with a two-out double. Huge spot now for Dominic Fletcher, the first baseman, on the one-two pitch. Pitch 102 for Green is a strikeout on the slider. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Abbott still pitching for Atlanta, and Francisco Alvarez, no, that's not a replay of earlier. He has another hit up the middle, his second of the day. Matt McLean now on the full count, and he just missed times that sweeper by Abbott. It's going to be flown out into right center field. Dylan Cruz will take it. One down at top of the order up. That means TJ Friedel on the 1 1 pitch. Abbott deals. Again, the sweeper softly hits Asong Kim over to Brendan Rogers. Rogers to Dominic Fletcher. To the eighth we go. Hunter Green will start the inning. I can't really leave him in past that. I don't think we'll try going one more batter. Sean Murphy on the one, two. Murphy on the ground to Ellie De La Cruz. Can we get the runner at second? Oh, Ellie takes too much time. We should have gone to first. And now we got first and second no outs. We bring in the all-star reliever, DeAndre Wilder. His first appearance in the playoffs. We just haven't needed relievers because of our starting pitching. 
but right there, two runs will score. They are both charged on Hunter Green. Yep, two runs will score, and DeAndre Wilder now has to deal with a runner on second base. That, of course, is Dylan Cruz now at the plate on the 1-2 Cruz in right field. That might score Rodgers. Bryce Harper going to have to come up throwing. Here he comes, and he got Rodgers at the plate. Bryce Harper with a clutch throw at home. It was actually a pinch runner in the catcher, Harry Ford. I don't know why he was pinch running, but anyways... DeAndre Wilder is not having a good day because we do have one out, but now second and third one out thanks to the Hustle and Kim double. I'm bringing in Garrett Crochet. It is a safe situation. Crochet's our guy. He will get Kyle Tucker first in the one two. My goodness, he gets him. One out away. Ronald Acuna Jr. on the two one gets popped up. Crochet keeps the lead at three to two. We still need three more outs to win the game, but the Reds do get to hit still up by one. My goodness, Garrett Crochet gets a huge strike out of Kyle Tucker and then it gets Ronald Acuna Jr. on the pop out as well as Bryce Harper with a 116 exit velo single back up the middle is on with a one out single and now Harper will look to steal. He's in there. Surprisingly, Bryce Harper has stolen second and has gotten into scoring position, but I can't understate how big of an outing that was for Garrett Crochet. His outing is not done, obviously. He's going to come back out for the ninth. Jordan Alvarez in the left field. Just a bad throw in. Bryce Harper scores. Alvarez advances to second. It's 4-2 Cincinnati looking for more. Matt Olsen pulls one into right going back and it will be caught at the wall. Alvarez will tag and go to third with two outs. Huge spot here for the multi-time all-star Will Benson on the 2-2. Ian Hamilton, though, will get him on a sinker away. So Garrett Crochet comes back out for the ninth. He will make Austin Riley look ridiculous on the circle change. One out for Dominic Fletcher on the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball up. We are one away. It is Nick Gordon, the pinch hitter, and that's strike three. Garrett Crochet strikes out the side, and the Reds go to Atlanta now, up two games to nothing here in this National League Championship Series. Again, the Braves had their shot. They definitely did have their chance in the top of the eighth, but of course they just cannot come through. Garrett Crochet again, huge at-bats against both Kyle Tucker and Ronald Acuna, and he sets them both down. The Reds win at home by a score of four to two. Jordan Alvarez, shout out three RBI tonight. Of course, one coming from Francisco Alvarez in the first inning as well. But Cincinnati is victorious in game number two as we head to Atlanta for game three coming up real soon. So folks, thank you all for watching episode number 94 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far. Thank you for watching and Mamba forever.